Aesop Fables, Volume 9 The Hares and the Frogs Hares, as you know, are very timid. The least shadow sends them scurrying in fright to a hiding place. Once they decided to die rather than live in such misery. But while they were debating how best to meet death, they thought they heard a noise, and in a flash were scampering off to the warren. On the way, they came upon a pond where a family of frogs was sitting among the reeds on the bank. In an instant, the startled frogs were seeking safety in the mud. Look, cried a hare, things aren't so bad after all, for here are creatures who are even afraid of us. Moral. However unfortunate we may think we are, there is always someone worse off than ourselves. The Lion and the Donkey A lion and a donkey agreed to go hunting together. In their search for game, the hunters saw a number of wild goats run into a cave and laid plans to catch them. The donkey was to go into the cave and drive the goats out, while the lion would stand at the entrance to strike them down. The plan worked beautifully. <coughs> the donkey made such a frightful din in the cave, kicking and braying with all his might, that the goats came running out in a panic of fear, only to fall victim to the lion. <coughs> the donkey came proudly out of the cave, did you see how I made them run? he said. Yes, indeed, answered the lion. And if I had not known you and your kind, I should certainly have run too. Moral. The loudmouth boaster does not impress nor frighten those who know him. <laughs> THE DOGS AND THE HIDES Some hungry dogs saw a number of hides at the bottom of a stream where the tanner had put them to soak. A fine hide makes an excellent meal for a hungry dog, but the water was deep and the dogs could not reach the hides from the bank. So they held a council and decided that the very best thing to do was to drink up the river. All fell to lapping up the water as fast as they could. But though they drank and drank until one after another, all of them had burst with drinking, still, for all their effort, the water in the river remained as high as ever. Moral. Do not try to do impossible things. The Bears and the Bees A bear, roaming in the woods in search of berries, happened upon a fallen tree in which a swarm of bees had stored their honey. The bear began to nose around the log very carefully to find out if the bees were at home. Just then, one of the swarm came home from the clover field with a load of sweets. Guessing what the bear was after, the bee flew at him, stung him sharply, and then disappeared into the hollow log. <coughs> the bear lost his temper in an instant and sprang upon the log, tooth and claw, to destroy the nest. But this only brought out the whole swarm. The poor bear had to take to his heels, and he was able to save himself only by diving into a pool of water. 
Moral. It is wiser to bear a single injury in silence than to provoke a thousand by flying into a rage. The Dog in the Manger A dog asleep in a manger filled with hay was awakened by the cattle, which came in tired and hungry from working in the field. But the dog would not let them get near the manger, and snarled and snapped, as if it were filled with the best of meat and bones all for himself. <coughs> the cattle looked at the dog in disgust. How selfy she is, said one. He cannot eat the hay, and yet he will not let us eat it, who are so hungry for it. Now the farmer came in. When he saw how the dog was acting, he seized a stick and drove him out to the stable with many a blow for his selfish behavior. <coughs> Moral. Do not deny others what you cannot enjoy yourself. The Wolf and the Goat A hungry wolf spied a goat browsing at the top of a steep cliff where he could not possibly get at her. That is a very dangerous place for you, he called out, pretending to be very anxious about the goat's safety. What if he should fall? Please, listen to me and come down. Here you can have all you want of the finest, tenderest grass in the country. The goat looked over the edge of the cliff. How very, very anxious you are about me, she said, and how generous you are with your grass. But I know you. It's your own appetite you are thinking of, not mine. Moral. An invitation prompted by selfishness is not to be accepted. Uh.